try it? All right, again, a key takeaway or a giveaway is whenever you see a quantity raised to a power, we know that's going to be basically our u, right? So we look at our u and say, all right, 5x squared plus 7, 7. Let's just, and again, maybe we're wrong, but maybe we're right. So let's just write out u is 5x squared plus 7. Now, that's in the denominator. We understand that. And if we were going to find du dx, derivative of that is going to be um, 10x, which, oops, I'm sorry. I did write down the problem wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wrote down the problem wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did write, you can see it's 10x up there. I wrote the problem. So that would have made no sense, right? Because uh, technically, if you would have got to that point, you would have said, well, we're not multiplying it. Now, we are going to get to some problems where we're going to have something similar to that. But obviously, in this point, you would have been stuck. We wouldn't have been able to do what we have been discussing so far. My apologies. I did write down the problem wrong. Um, but now we can see that that is 10x. So now we can look at this, though, and say, are we taking the derivative function and then multiplying it by its, uh, or sorry, sorry, are we taking, do we have an inside function and then multiplying by its derivative? Yes, we are. So therefore, now I can say du is equal to 10x dx. So basically what you see is 1 over 5x squared plus 7 cubed times 10x dx. That's what I just want to kind of get you guys. This is what I was explaining in that last one. You have this times 10x dx. Well, what is 10x dx? 10x dx is equal to what? Du. And therefore, this is equal to u. So it's really 1 over u cubed times du, right? That's what we need to integrate. That's what we want to integrate. We don't want to integrate with all this stuff in there. That's what we want to represent u with, is we only want to represent 1 over u to the third, um, 1 divided by u to the third power du. And we can integrate that by using a negative power. And when I do that, integrate, I have u to the negative second divided by negative 2 plus c, right? Now I just integrate, add 1 divided by that. And now I can just plug back in my u. And again, or we could you know, rewrite that a whole bunch of other ways. 